La bulevirtide è un antivirale efficace contro l'infezione da epatite delta. Come funziona questo farmaco e quali sono gli studi e le analisi che ne hanno dimostrato l'efficacia e la sicurezza? Ne parliamo con un esperto del settore, il professor Victor De Ledingen, che durante il congresso AISF 2022 dell'Associazione Italiana Studio Fegato ha tenuto un'interessante relazione per spiegare anche dei dati e delle analisi condotte su una corte francese. Professor De Ledingen, How does Bulevertide works and what do we know about its efficacy and safety? So Bulevertide is a new drug and it's a drug uh, who block the entry of the virus in the hepatocyte. So it's to block the entry of the virus. So about the efficacy, we have now three studies Uh, published as abstracts and one real uh, study, a real life study. And we know now that with this drug, we can observe uh, an efficacy, which is an undetectable HDV RNA after 24 weeks or one year of treatment. And this efficacy is observed in near and sometimes more than 50% of patients. So it's a very, very encouraging drug. So, Professor, you and your colleagues look at the outcome from French Early Access Program on Boulevertide, and the analysis included 145 patients with the chronic ABV ADV co-infection, Uh, we either had advanced fibrosis or uh, uh, compensated cirrhosis or moderated fibrosis and elevated ALT level. What are the principal results of this analysis? Uh, what is very interesting in this study is that it's a real life study. So we, we, we could have the drug in France, it was an early access program, and we could treat patients, as you said, with very severe disease. For example, more than 60% of patients had cirrhosis. And what we observed? We observed that after one year of treatment using bilivertide as a monotherapy, 40% of patients had undetectable HDV RNA, so 40% without any virus replication after one year of treatment. And when we check it LT level, we observe that 50% of patients had no more LT level after one year of treatment. And at last, we didn't observe any side effect, any severe side effect, and the tolerance of the drug is very good. So what are the main clinical problems in patients with hepatitis delta and how much does the late diagnosis impact on the course of this infection? Uh, delta hepatitis is the most severe hepatitis, viral hepatitis. It's more severe than HCV infection or HPV infection. And so we have uh, a risk of cirrhosis in patients just uh, at the age of 30. And sometimes we have hepatocellular carcinoma in young patients between 30 or 40 years old. So it's a very, very severe disease. We need at this time, first we need He knows the disease because sometimes we have patients with HBV infection without any screening for HDV. And we know that HDV is related to HBV infection. So all patients with HBV infection should have HDV screening. And it's not the case. And the second point is that in these patients, we have severe fibrosis but there is no non-invasive methods to evaluate liver fibrosis. And therefore, in these patients, we need to perform a liver biopsy 
to, to check for the severity of fibrosis. So two main points, screening and diagnosis of the severity of the disease.